Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest. And most of our holiday weekend is looking good. I'll get to that in a minute, but I want to go back to uh, Hurricane uh, Dorian. It's a, a major Category 3 hurricane located to the east of the Bahamas right now. It is forecast to become a Category 4 as it approaches the northern Bahamas. So that's the position at 2 a.m. on Sunday, and then it uh, nears the east coast of uh, Florida by Tuesday afternoon as a Category 4 with winds of 140 miles an hour. This is the latest projection. Now, what's different between uh, this and previous runs is that the arrival time to Florida has slowed down. And then from there, it curves to the north, and that's the forecast position. Wednesday, 2 p.m. is a Category 2. One model, the European model, actually keeps the center of Dorian just off the east coast of Florida. But with the slow movement of the storm and how powerful it is, the uh, devastation, it could actually be catastrophic. We're talking about a catastrophic storm surge, wind damage, inland flooding, because if the storm slows down, it could produce uh, one or two feet of rain, maybe even more than that. And of course, a beach erosion, especially if that storm stays offshore, battering the coastline for many days. But here in Connecticut, of course, we got the Woodstock Fair, the Haddam Neck Fair, the Goshen Fair, dry and comfortable Saturday and Sunday. We took showers out of Sunday's forecast, but showers are in the forecast for Labor Day, but we are not expecting a washout. Highs today, look at that, as high as 86 in Hartford and Windsor Locks. Temperatures well above normal on the second to the last day of August and early warning pin Point Doppler scanning the state dry. A beautiful sky over Torrington right now. Just a few fair weather clouds. Nice and blue on our eye cam in New London. And temperatures are still in the low and mid 80s across much of the state. And dew point temperatures have risen into the low and middle 60s. So we're the feeling the humidity a little bit more today along with those higher temperatures. But we do have a nice breeze out of the west southwest at 15 miles an hour. So what's happening is we have a drier air off to our north and west behind a cold front. Dew points are in the 40s and 50s across northern New England and upstate New York. That drier air is coming our way for tomorrow. So in advance of that front, not much moisture, just some partial cloudiness. The risk of a shower as we go into this evening is going to be very, very low. Future cast shows an isolated shower or two at 7 o'clock this evening. Otherwise, we're clear to partly cloudy overnight as the drier air moves in. And tomorrow is going to be a partly to mostly sunny day. Not as warm as today, and the humidity is going to be nice and low. Now, as we go into Sunday, again, I took showers out of the forecast, sunny in the morning, and then showers will be off to our west by 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Some of those will be working their way into the state Sunday night and Monday. So two nice days, and then Monday we have some showers. So lows tonight, 50s inland, the low 60s along the I-95 corridor, and your highs for tomorrow right up there in the 70s to near 80. So not as warm and not nearly as humid as it was for today. Here's your seven-day forecast. Sunday, 76 with uh, partly sunny skies, a chance for showers Monday, maybe some thunder. Um, I don't think it's going to be a washout, though. And then Tuesday looks warm and humid in the 80s. We'll be in the 80s again on Wednesday with a chance for a storm. And then we turn much cooler and refreshing Thursday and Friday. Highs in the low to mid 70s and nighttime lows in the 40s and 50s. We could see increase in cloudiness late in the day on Friday. That all depends on the future course of Dorian. I'll talk more about that coming up in the next half hour. And for the shoreline this weekend, 80 Saturday, 74 Sunday, and Monday, a high of 76.